Greetings. Right, I'm quite happy I can now show you my finished version of the 04 Drury Diesel, fully painted, fully detailed up for my model railway. Um, I've already made a video about it, going through all the detail. Uh, if you want to order one of the local body kits or some of the details to a converter, backman, one or whatever, it's all in the description. There's also an article by a guy called Chris Hopper who made one. He's written a really good Mr. Denabi article. The same applies, that's in the description as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you. It's been sitting on the desk the best part of a year. Couldn't really bring myself to finish painting it. I just didn't want to do the stripes, but here we are. Uh, my version of Mavis from my own kit. The wasp stripes were quite difficult. They were fox transfers. I had to break them into little bits, put them on, some just paint bits in. Quite challenging. Took, took quite a long time. The finish is not perfect the way I've done it, but I think, I think it's pretty good, mostly. Now the, the text on the side, they are transfers from Corbs, also known as Railway Mania. I'll put his link in the description as well. And um, I should have put this a little lower, really, because I didn't look at the illustrations enough, and the text normally is lower than the uh, joining lip. So, you know, lack of detail there, should have looked at the books more, but not a big deal. If I did it again, I could improve things. Now the front, the same applies with the black stripes. The positions of them in real life differed. There's lots of photographs of them in different positions. I think according to the Railway Series illustrations, I should have put them a bit higher, but again, it's too late now. I could always do it on a future one. Now the radiator grill, that has been increased in size on the CAD, and the bonnet profile has been changed a little bit, so it's now more accurate if you do get one. And uh, One thing I've done to this, I've modified it slightly, the, the middle lamp, if I just grab it with the tweezers, there we go, you can pull it out. It's a little pin in it in a hole. The reason for that is because, although most of the time, oops, nearly lost it then. I've done that before, actually. Oh, yeah, don't you do that. No, naughty. Yeah, it's cool. Only thing with tweezers, isn't it? Pew! Happens too often. I might want to stick some faces on one day, basically. So that's removable for that purpose. But overall, I'm quite happy. Gave it a little dusting over with some talcum powder. Nothing too much. I want it to look mostly clean, just a slight dusting. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm quite pleased. I'm looking that way, you, you notice quite a lot because the way the camera is and the light, but yeah, I'll show you some clips of it running. Uh, have a look. <laughs> So yeah, that, there's it running. I know the layout itself is a bit boring at the moment. It's still plywoodville, but you know, at the moment, faffing around with point rodding, it's like I want to get the point rodding in before I ballast it, and then started doing, you know, hills and scenery and other bits. So um, yeah, one more point actually, might as well. The uh, you can remove that. I've retained the what do you call it? Light basically, just soldered it on and glued a bloke on the seat. And uh, this here. This is the one that come, the kit comes with, but you can use the original Backman one, which has a different window profile, and it still fits. I've designed it so it can do either. So you can change the look. And obviously there's different there's different chimney combinations, depending on what you may order. And is that on? This one just friction fits quite nicely. But yeah, finally got that one done. And I'm going to record another video right now and show you another little model that I've finished. So thanks for watching, and drop comments and all that stuff. And see you soon.